still on HR data analysis. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the pivot table to summarize set of data in Microsoft Excel. Hello, welcome to Microsoft Excel made easy. In the previous video, we were able to see how we could analyze this set of data, starting from cleaning up the data to transform the data into a table. And we went ahead to calculate the staff age as well as the staff service year. And we were able to find out other important insights and metrics from this particular data. If you have not watched the video, do well to watch it using the link up there now. In this video, we are going to be learning how to use pivot table to better summarize this set of data. So to use pivot table, make sure that a cell is selected within your table, then head straight to what design. So in design, you can see what summarize with what pivot table. But supposing a cell is selected outside the table, you notice that the design menu tab will not be visible. But hitting here, the design menu tab comes up. Is that right? So head straight to what? Summarize with what? Pivot table and this particular prompt will come up. Choose the data that you want to analyze. Select a table or range. So it automatically select the whole table for us and it goes ahead to tell us what? Use this workbook data model. Use an external data source. Choose where you want the pivot table to be placed. So if you want it to be placed on a new worksheet, you tick that. If you want it to be placed on the existing worksheet, you tick that. But if you choose existing worksheet, you have to define the location. But want it to be on a new worksheet because we are going to be dealing with a whole lot of examples. Because after this video, your usage of pivot table will be redefined. Because you will see pivot table as a very simple tool to use to analyze your data. So you hit what? OK. And it brings up to this new worksheet. And the worksheet is what? Sheet 9. So I can go ahead to just rename it accordingly. So pivot summary. All right. Actually summary. So depending on what you want to rename it as. So I'm just going to show us a whole lot of tricks about using the pivot table. If you still click outside the pivot table, you notice that the particular pivot field menu will go off. So, but if you click within it, the pivot table fields will come back on. Now, what the pivot table helps you to do definitely is to summarize data. And you can decide to drag any of the field to these different areas. We've actually made a video on how to use Microsoft Excel pivot table. Go ahead to watch it in your screen now. So these are the different areas. I'll have filters, columns, rows, values, and you have these different fields. So at any point in time, you can drag any of these fields to these different areas and you see the effect here. So if you drag it to a filter area, you notice that you can do what? filter either male or female so this same field if you can if you drag it to a column that means you, you notice that your different fields will be shown in the different columns if you drag it to row that means your different fields will be shown in different rows if you drag it to values yeah, then your different fields will be shown in different values values is always calculated what field is all right now one thing you have to understand in pivot table is that there is no single way of achieving your result if you can understand this then you are good to go you alone know what you want to achieve okay so you keep on moving the different fields until you get what you want to achieve right so in pivot table moving these fields to the different areas is actually what is called slicing and dicing of what data is that right now if you want to delete any of these fields supposing you don't want to sit in the in this particular area you can click this drop down arrow and it says what remove field so once you click remove field it will delete it automatically for you so i'm going to bring back this gender here I want to show us how to we can remove this so you can just drag this out here and it deletes it for you and you can just drag it back in here and it deletes it for you so deleting it like removing it from the whole area section but not from the pivot table so let us go ahead to analyze this data what are we still waiting for now suppose you want to find the total number of males and females in this particular table how go and do that so you need gender I need something that will do what count. Is that right? So I need gender to suppose I put gender here and I 
definitely not futile okay then i need something that can count something for me then supposing i put job grid under values is okay so it's trying to tell me that what we i have 38 females and 73 males is okay supposing i move this gender to what rules now this makes more sense how about this so this shows what 38 females 73 males and one beautiful thing about this is that you can easily use this set of data and represent it in form of what a chart is that right so you can just quickly create a chart here and you are good to go how about this it's very very simple to achieve all this is that right so i'm going to delete this because that is not what we want to achieve so supposing i just copy the whole of this and i bring it down here it's all right it's as good as copy and paste so what i've just invariably done is i want to still analyze this set of data that is i have two pivot tables running on this same worksheet that is a trick i always use instead of creating more pivot table and having several worksheets i can have several pivot tables working on the same worksheet so you can still go ahead to remove this guy and it doesn't affect the first one is all right so i'm still going to bring this back up suppose i want to know the number of the different department that the males are and the different department that the females are so i can quickly drag this down here all right now this actually doesn't uh make more sense like that all right because it's trying to tell me that for females you have five in the finance department i'll have five in well five males in the finance department okay so this is actually nice right but supposing i now go ahead to move the department to rose now look at what it gives us all right so for females you have so I have five females under finance, one female under human resource, like that, and all that. So you notice that what, depending on how you want to view your data, it can be represented accordingly for you like that. How easy can this be? All right. So this is another way of summarizing our data. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to have several copies. Don't mind me. All right. So after this, using pivot table should not be an issue to you again. So I'm going to remove this department from where it is. Then uh, I'm going to remove this gender from where it is. Then um, supposing I have um, department under rules. Is okay. So now, how about this? So this is trying to tell you that what's under finance department will have 10 staff under finance department. Under human resource department will have 6 staff under human resource. So whether they are males or females, you don't know. But you just know that they, you have all this total number of staff under this. And the total is what? 111. Is that right? So I'm going to copy this again. All right, so, <laughs> so it's just so interesting when you're working with pivot table. How interesting can this be? Please make sure you support our channel by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Is all right? Also like and share this video. So I'm going to remove this department again. So what can I do? So supposing I put location under this, all right? So this will make it now, how about this? So number of staff in Abiyokuta is highest. Okay, it's 11. For Abuja is 14, for Lagos is 55. How about this? You can still go ahead to select your set of data, represent it, insert, represent it as a chart or whatever you want to achieve. So Lagos has the highest. So in chart, you can still go ahead and format this chart to suit your needs. How easy can that be? So pivot table, slicing and dicing what? Data. Is that okay? So you can slice and dice your what? data so i'm going to i want to delete this chart now so what and what can you do so you notice that we'll be able to summarize this data based on females and males the number of females and males we'll be able to summarize this data to find out the different department that the females are in as well as the different different department that the males are in we will summarize the data to find out the number of staff in each department is that okay we'll be able to summarize this data to find out the number of staff in each state is okay so supposing we now go ahead to move department to this rows you now notice that what fabio kuta is trying to tell you that we have eight staff under production they'll have three staff under what sales department totaling what 11 all together in abio kuta so this and many more you can do with your pivot table so have you seen how we will to get four summaries out of this particular data that we're working with. How easy?
could that be? So we're able to find the total meals in different departments, the total job grade. Hope you got value in this video. Do well to support our channel by smashing the subscribe button. Also like and share this video. Go ahead to watch the video on your screen that shows you how to use Microsoft Excel for HR data analysis. It is value packed. Excel made easy.